on today's episode of Amanda Felix Eats, we'll be taking you guys along with us to try out some cheap eats that won't sacrifice in flavor. The spicy one, oh my goodness, has my heart. This is much needed on this hot, hot day. I could mop a plate of these, a dozen of these, no problem. Can't wait to dig in. What's going on foodie ohana and welcome back to the channel. For today's episode, we'll be taking you guys along with us to try out some cheap eats that won't break the bank. And you guys love our cheap eats series, so we're bringing it back for today's video. And we can't wait to show you all of these really affordable food options for you guys. All right, Foodie Ohana, so we are here in the industrial Kalihi area. A lot of workshops, a lot of auto stores around here, but hidden in this industrial area is our first stop, which is a local bento shop. And it's located right here tucked away in this little yellow house there. And our first stop on today's Cheap Eats adventure, Mia Konjo. Hi. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, nice Thank meeting you. you. Yeah, <laughs> All right, Furio Ohana, so the places we visited today are very limited in parking and dining space. It is more of a takeout to go place, so you can enjoy it at home or on the go before you gotta head back into work. But nonetheless, they are affordable and delicious. So we are here today at the Salt Lake District Park. So the first place we went today is called Mia Konjo, and they were super, super nice. So big shout out to Mia Konjo. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. And we're super duper excited to try their famous Namban chicken. So we got one signature Namban chicken plate here and Amanda got one of their known bentos. This is their Aji Fry Bento. Aji Fry is like a type of mackerel that's deep fried over rice. And guys, this bento was under $7. And this hefty, delicious plate here was only $12. So chicken Namban is a very, very famous dish in Japan, but also here in Hawaii, it's like a crispy fried chicken with a tangy dressing on top. Also comes with a dipping sauce of your choice. Here they have two different kinds. They were so kind enough to let us try both of them. One is more a traditional namban chicken sauce, which is kind of like a tartar tangy sauce. And here they have a special spicy namban chicken sauce. And you guys already know I'm gonna love the spicy one. And it's very, very windy today. So my hair will be all over the place. So be fair warned about that. <laughs> Yeah, just pay attention to the food and not Amanda's hair. You'll be fine. All right, so Amanda's gonna try the regular sauce and I got the spicy sauce here. Ooh. It's dangling for dear life. <laughs> we call that the flavor dangle. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The chicken itself has a tang to it, kind of like a citrusy note, maybe a soy-based batter. It tastes like soy yuzu tare, like soy yuzu sauce. Very savory, a little hint of sweetness. The sauce itself, man, that spicy one, tastes almost like a mix of Big Mac sauce with the sriracha mayo sauce. It's very tangy and creamy. Even though they say spicy, it's not really spicy. It's like not very spicy at all. It's just that spice flavor. I'm a big fan of this spicy sauce, oh my gosh. Mm. The original sauce is more like a creamy mayo, tangy sauce. It's almost like a tartar sauce, if you will. But honestly, if you're not a big sauce person, the chicken by itself already tastes very, very flavorful. Because they fry it up to order and then they dip it in the sauce after. So enjoy these right away while it's still saucy, crispy, delicious. You do get a big heaping portion of rice with furikake on top. The sauce does kind of seep into the rice, which makes it on delicious and then it comes with a side salad so i think that's kind of the difference between the bento and the plate looks like the plate you get a little bit more meat and you get the salad with the rice but the bento it seems like you don't get the salad and a little smaller portion but i think this portion is actually perfect for me the lady helping us at mia Konjo was very very kind enough to give us two other popular namban chicken to try one being oh it even has the tab right here one is spicy nanban, the other is teriyaki. I'll do the spicy. These chicken morsels are huge. My fingers are shaking trying to carry it up with my chopsticks. Oh guys, the spices on this one. Look at that, you can see the nice dusting of spice on the crispy outside. Going in on the teri chicken. All right, no sauce, all flavor. Mmm. Mm. Mm. The flavor is different from the Namban chicken. I honestly was kind of afraid that the chickens would taste the same, but the Namban chicken batter has like a tang to it versus the teriyaki one. It's just straight up like savory terry flavor. And guys, the spicy one, oh my goodness, 
has my heart. It is the same dusted with that familiar crushed chili oil spices. It's not gonna tear you up and shut your esophagus kind of spicy, but it has a nice crunchy pepper flavor. I'm gonna go for double spice and dip this into the spicy sauce. Mmm. Oh man, so good. Yeah, so far a very big fan of their chicken. Tender, flavorful, juicy morsels of chicken, lightly battered. What more could you ask for? We haven't even gone to the bento yet. The next two things we want to try at Mia Konjo is their famous karaoke, but not just any karaoke. This is their Hokkaido soy milk karaoke. What is that? I don't even know, guys. I'm about to find out and let you know. And this is their aji fry bento. I'm super excited because a lot of places don't usually offer aji fry. We did have this in Japan as well. Make sure you check out those series. You can choose your sauce. You could either go with the tartar sauce or katsu sauce. But since we already had tartar sauce, I went with the katsu today. Mmm. Love the crunch. Oh, wow. I don't even know how to begin to describe this. It's like creamy mashed potato on the inside, but slightly sweet. I guess that's where the Hokkaido soy milk in the name refers to. There's bits of imitation crab in here. It gives it a nice seafood flavor. It's very delicate on the inside, almost whipped like texture. The outside is a nice crust of panko, very crispy. I could mop a plate of these, a dozen of these, no problem. This is for sure coming to my next potluck. They also do catering as well. I forgot to mention it mm. on the weekends. The aji fry, honestly, I wasn't really expecting too much of it because usually a lot of times it's like a pre-frozen one, but this one tastes like very, very fresh aji fry. Like the fish does not have like that fishy, like frozen taste or anything like that. No smelly or fishiness. The batter is nice and crispy. And this katsu sauce, I will say, is different. It's not the typical katsu sauce. It actually is a lot more tangier, which personally, I really love a tangy katsu sauce. Highly recommend if you are gonna be doing like a bigger order or like you're in a time crunch and you just wanna like pull up to the side and pick it up real quick. Definitely phone order, but definitely follow them. As always, we leave the links to the business down in the description below. We have another spot that we're gonna introduce you guys to today. here at location number two in the Mapuna Puna industrial area, kind of near where we did Cow Cow Grill. If you guys remember that one, if you guys haven't, check it out. But it's right over here. Parking is very limited, so I sent off Amanda on a mission to grab our cheap eats. Oh, we can't wait for you to try our food. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing oh, a- Did you charge them? Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so oh, much. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much. Tell your dad we said hi. Yes. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Kuri Ohana, I got the goods. This spot is super duper busy and they were super nice. Actually, their dad watches our channel, so shout out and can't wait to try Taka's Box Lunch. And the next cheap piece we visited is Taka's Box Lunch. And guys, this place is beloved by locals. Mm -hmm. In and out of cars coming in to pick up and secure their lunch because they do close early as well. Another good sign of an awesome eatery. And we got their special of the day, but not just one, a mixed plate of their special of the day, which is their chili frank, and their garlic chicken. And this was only $12.50, you guys. That is such a deal. For $12, you get this massive plate and a drink of your choice. And extra points, they serve Coke here. <laughs> and it even has like a mac salad on the side. This is a spaghetti mac. It looks like maybe some crab in there. I'm not sure. We're gonna try it out. And guys, you know I love a chili dog, a chili frank. This is gonna have my heart because it's Redondo's hot dog. If you know, you know. Redondo's. The red one. Yeah, the red hot dog. That red does winners. Not... <laughs> yeah, it's called red winners. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's try it. I guess gonna... I'll try the chicken then. So this is in contrast to the Nanban chicken, more of a local style chicken. Very simply battered. It's a garlic chicken, right? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lots of spices in this chili. You can see the vegetables in the chili on top rice. I love the spiciness. The garlic chicken is not overly savory, but it is sweet and garlicky. That's how you know it's more of a local style fried chicken. And also the batter is different as well. This one is more of your traditional corn flour that you're used to. Sweet, garlicky, goodness. Mm. Shout out to Max Salad. 
I think there's like crab in there, like imitation crab. It is a very peppery mac salad. I like it. And it can't get any more original than spaghetti mac. Ooh, and I love spaghetti mac with some chili. Ooh, yes. Makes the chili even more creamy. I'm a big fan of their chili. Oh, the chili is so good. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Oh, man. And also, guys, the portions are pretty significant. Bro, forget Zippy's. Get this by the bucket. Zippy's is getting so expensive that this is such a good deal. If yeah. it was more available, more hours a day, I'd be here. Also, I do want to mention here at Taka's Box Lunch, they have daily specials and they have daily menu. So today's daily specials was the chili frank and the garlic chicken, but today we got it mixed, which was $12.50. But if you just get one or the other, I think it's a little bit cheaper. They have a daily menu, which had beef stew, hamburger steak, and loco moco. Yeah, they had a bunch of things on their menu. I'll put up the menu. But if you follow them on Instagram, they do post their weekly specials or the monthly specials that they have. So definitely check it out. Pro tip, get some of the nice chili with the cheese like that, like that. Put it on the garlic chicken because that's going to be your bite of bliss right there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's give it another dip for good no, measure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Are you guys also the kind of person that does not like their food touching? Because same. And here at Taka's Box Lunch, they were really, really nice. And thank you so much for supporting our channel. We appreciate it. And this is honestly why we do what we do because we love supporting local businesses, especially the small mom and pop ones. And guys, if you love this Cheap Eats series where we feature a lot of local or hidden gems or affordable budget-friendly eats, Check out our other Cheap Eats videos. We have a whole series of them. We featured a lot of local businesses. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like cheap but flavorful dishes that support local businesses as well. And guys, as much as you can, let's support these local businesses because that's honestly the whole reason why we started this channel. As always, we leave the links down in the description below to the restaurants or the spots that we go to. So definitely check them out. And also guys, if you do have any other recommendations that we might have missed or you think we should try Feel free to comment down below, all you locals out there. Where is your favorite mom and pop or local eats place? All right, guys, now on to the next spot. And before we continue on today's epic adventure, we'd just like to give a special mahalo to those of you who help continue to support our channel. And because of you guys, we could not be doing what we do. So again, thank you so much to all these people for supporting us and all of you folks out there who just click and watch our videos. We truly, truly appreciate all the support and you guys mean the world to us. had copyright music on the inside so we're out here trying our drinks and if you guys remember a while ago we did a video on ward food trucks or food trucks in the ward kakako area so we're here at milky way and we did feature their food truck they do have a brick and mortar here in kalihi now and guys this is much needed on this hot hot day and they are known for a, something called a snowy so it's kind of like a smoothie slash snow ice type of thing it's a very milky kind of snow ice, like a shaved ice, but kind of like a Taiwanese style and they make it into a smoothie. This one here is the special matcha one that Felix got and I got the acai one. This is one that I usually get most of the time whenever I come here. It's very, very, very refreshing. So I'm guessing for mine, I have to mix it up because the matcha is in the bottom and the milk is on the top. I'm a little scared because I didn't realize it was going to be this much milk. <laughs> but um, so I got to scrape the... Oh, it, oh, it's a matcha jelly on the bottom. Ooh, that's nice. You guys can see that. Like a matcha custard. I think last time I got the strawberry one and we actually shared last time, but we're getting adventurous. <laughs> we have a big appetite today, so we're getting this. Mmm. 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 Okay. I love the acai flavor. Not too, too sweet, which I love. And it's nice and milky from the shaved ice. I like the matcha flavor, but I wish it wasn't so milky. This tastes more like a, a cup of whole milk mixed with a hint of matcha. A little too milky for my personal preference, but if you guys like the more milkier matcha latte, 
this is right up your alley. If you do come here and you're unsure, the go-tos are definitely mango and strawberry. Today we went a little adventurous, but definitely, definitely you will love strawberry or mango. This one is very, very refreshing and good. It tastes like an acai bowl with mm. a nice hint of creamy milk on the top, like a splash of milk. I think your safest bet is to stick with the mm. fruit flavor of snow, snow these, they call it here. That is very, very milky. Whew, my God, use the bathroom pretty soon. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for joining us on today's Cheap Eats episode. We super duper love introducing you to all of these local mom and pop shops that offer really, really affordable food, especially for us locals who love a budget meal. That doesn't sacrifice on flavor as well. If you guys want to check them out, again, links are down in the description below. Make sure you drop a big thumbs up while you're down there. Comment any places that you guys want us to feature in the future. Hit that subscribe button to join our Foodie Ohana and we will see you guys on our next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next one, support your local businesses, explore your inner foodie and peace out. Bye guys. All right, Foodie Ohana, so we are here in the industrial of Kalihi area. Do you get a big heaping, big heaping Porsche? You do get a big heaping Porsche. It's perfectly seasoned with your hair too. And our first stop, and our first stop. Just on your mic. Is it on? Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Going in in the teriyaki sauce. Wait, what? And Get these. Get to, these. Oh. Get these. Special for today, Thursday, was the mix that we got today. It's actually but Friday. Friday. <laughs> Sorry. Ow. What the? That hit me in the head. Enjoy your local. Eat. Oh, enjoy your local. Enjoy. <laughs>